Hello, my lesbian lovers. It's Mad Mike Forever again, and we're back into the Stanley parable. And uh, in the last one, we saw that weird, weird ending where we didn't listen to the single thing that the narrator was saying. So this time, I think what we should do is actually listen to what the narrator has to say. Just, I don't know, just for shits and giggles, just to see what he has to say. All right, so this is a very interesting game. I'll give it that. I'm just jumping right back into this. Let's see here. Uh... What was I supposed to do? Oh, that's right, because clicking on anything doesn't really do anything. Oh, that's right. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's go on the door on the left, guys. Ooh, anything else to click on? Ooh, it's the same painting. Whoa, what the? <laughs> oh, cool. Can I, can I click on anything else? That was actually kind of cool. <laughs> no. Oh, you know what I just noticed, too? When you click, listen. It's like clicking on a keyboard. It's so cool. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <sighs> Let's see. How to solve the dispute with co-workers. Let it ball up inside of you. Take it out. Oh, I was reading that. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Anything interesting to click on in here? No, can I have some coffee? There's coffee mugs everywhere. No. Ooh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he <laughs> turned around and got back on track. Look at there's a movie reel! Oh my god, this game is so cool! There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty <laughs> broom closet. Yep. No reason to still be here. But it's a broom closet. It's interesting, Mr. Narrator. I don't... I it can't... Was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified <laughs> in some way. As it is, <laughs> he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Sweet F.A., huh? No, I'm admiring the broom closet and how clean and organized it is. And are I'm you, Are you really still in the broom closet? <laughs> Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> because you're being interesting. That's why, Mr. Narrator. <laughs> like... You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? Well, if I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. <laughs> it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. <laughs> I never would have thought to mention it. Well, you know, honestly, with the creator of this doing this Maybe much... Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend you'll say, <laughs> Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Knowing my friends, they'll probably really enjoy this. Now I'm curious to Stanley see. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how oh stupid he God. is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> I am, am I? I see. Oh, I'm just waiting to come out well, of the Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here, when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. <laughs> well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Wait, what? Oh my god, this is actually... Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person <laughs> at this computer is dead. <laughs> he or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term <laughs> sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand yeah. basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history <laughs> of narrative tropes in video gaming. 
so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. Oh, maybe there right. is a broom closet ending. Done that. Just step out into the hallway. Are you gonna say anything else? Oh, come on. This is good. I've sat here for this long. Come on. Nothing. Oh, please say there's a broom closet ending. Oh my god, this is so funny. <laughs> I don't want to come out of the closet. I don't want to. Can I actually jump? No. All right. I guess I gotta come out of the broom closet. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh. Do I want to go downstairs? I really want to go downstairs now. All right, fuck it. I'll go upstairs. I said I was going to listen to everything he said, so... Let's go upstairs. All right, where's this bitch's office? Oh. oh, look at how pretty this is. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have Ooh. known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. Two, but of course, eight. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, <laughs> Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Okay. Ooh, what secrets are we gonna find? This is getting exciting and creepy. Okay, are we going to like some kind of Silent Hill thing here? Because this is looking really creepy. Oh god. Was that an ending? It's loading. Or am I loading into a new spot? Descending deep oh, okay, into the we're building. Out. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Oof. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape or mind control? Oh! Oh my god, there's gonna be a lot of playthroughs in this game. Alright, I said I was gonna do everything he said, so I'm gonna do everything he said. The lights oh. rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible Whoa. secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I do have the strength. I do, Mr. Narrator, because I remember I'm second player. <laughs> okay. Ooh, another button. Now the monitors Whoa. jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. Whoa. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This looks weird. Wish I could zoom in on the pictures and actually see. Where this mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Look, fire. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Seriously, out of all these people, there's only one that's fired? Okay. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! Yeah. It was unthinkable. That's right. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. 
the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Mind control, idle input. Okay. So does that mean I'm going to turn off this machine? But where are all the people? Oh. Was that an ending? Whoa. can't see. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Is it? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Oh, uh, yeah? Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed Birdie. from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. <gasps> Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. I want happiness. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, Ooh. it will be his. That looks pretty. And that was all he needed to know. <gasps> oh, I want to go in my it house. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. This must be a good ending. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. I was happy. Oh. I'm assuming this has got to be an ending. Beat the game! Seriously? In 10 minutes? I beat the game in 10 minutes. Well, my. <laughs> My side thing at the, um, like, the closet. <laughs> oh my god. I seriously want to explore more and more into this game because this game is freaking hysterical, like. But I did as I promised. I went and I actually listened to the guy, but I think next time around I'm gonna do things a little bit differently, but I- I know it's gonna be a short episode, but I don't know how long the other choices are gonna be so I'm gonna just split them up kind of thing I'm probably just gonna record a whole bunch tonight that's why I'm still wearing the same get up <laughs> but uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this game because I'm gonna be posting one soon so <laughs> but all right well, I'm gonna stop it here if you like what I'm doing you see that like and that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen you give it the book of doom so she knew and be happy guys, be happy! Be happy. Do you think I can look good? Think I'm my computer? Ooh. Okay. The time is not even new. Okay. Alright. I stepped outside of my desk now, my narrator. I'm so used to everybody. All these co workers are gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo.